here we are going to demonstrate two different tubes drains and the catheters so come closer to this we will study one by one on the close of view all the things are adjusted on the green paper the item you are seeing on the screen it's an alternate drain they are of the different sizes basically they are used to prevent the accumulation of fluid blood pus and the infected fluids also to prevent accumulation of the air in the dead spaces also and also to characterize the fluid for example early identification of the nostromostic leakage so it has eyes at its uh, distillants for the drainage of the fluids so the item you are seeing on the screen it's a tracheostomy tube basically it's a cuffed uh, tube uncuffed tube is also there uh, it has got balloon uh, which will be inflated with the help of the air uh, to stay it into the trachea easily you are uh, seeing also strips for fixation purpose so it's for the definitive airway purpose it's used in the airway obstruction so the item you are seeing on the screen it's a iv cannula it has got many colors and uh, it's also differs from the sizes the white board cannula is the green cannula it's number 18 now in the second number you are seeing pink cannula which is at least uh, number 20 gauge basically this is the drip set and uh, now you have the mask when we want to give respirations during the cpr purpose we will attach this with the help of the ambu bag and uh, put on the mouth of the patient uh, to give the respirations so this is the airway and uh, basically it uh, prevents the tongue fall in case of trauma patients we will put in this direction so now next item the item you are seeing on the screen it's a two ways foliage catheter it's of the different sizes and varies from 16 fr to 24 fr and it has also got color coding orange is 16 fr red is 18 fr yellow is 20 fr purple is 22 and the blue is 24 fr now you are watching the nasogastric tube it's used for the decompression of the stomach small intestine also for the administration of the medications enteric nutrition and the gastric lavage uh, you will not put in case of base of skull fracture sure. They are basically ECG electrodes uh, you will use uh, while uh, doing ECG uh, to put on the chest of the patient. Now uh, you are seeing the ambu bags. Basically you will give uh, the artificial respiration in case of the CPR. It's of the different sizes. Beads for as well as for that. So now uh, you are seeing the laryngoscope on your screen. It has got uh, different sizes of the blades and the battery operated system and uh, light source also it's used to put the endotracheal tube in uh, to manage the airway in the next uh, item we will show endotracheal tube now you are watching the endotracheal tube it's a cuffed endotracheal tube used for resuscitation ventilation to secure airway in deep coma and the deep suctioning also it's of the different sizes also but it can cause tracheal stenosis and the tracheobronchial fistula also vocal cord injury can also be there wrong placement in the esophagus it might be the complication We'll put it uh, with the help of the laryngoscope. So in the close of view, you are seeing. Now you are seeing the chest tube. Basically, it's a chest tube uh, with trocar. Now we will show you in the close of view. Uh, while opening it, uh, you will see there is a trocar. Uh, this is good as uh, you need a very small incision as compared to the traditional uh, chest tube. Uh, when we put, uh, we make uh, more incision. But uh, it can be traumatic. Everything has got its own uh, consequences. Now you are seeing the simple uh, chest tube. In 80% of cases of trauma, uh, chest trauma, you will use uh, chest intubation. It's used for pneumothorax, hemothorax, empyemothorax and the chylothorax also. And you will put in the triangle of the safety. Now you are seeing the stomach tubes, nasogastric tubes, which I have already explained. It's of the different sizes. It's uh, for the gastric decompression. And in case of intestinal obstruction, we also use this. It's also of the different sizes uh, for the adults as well as for the peds. It is also known as the feeding tube. In the close of view. Now you are seeing the bipolar cartridge on your screen. It has two prongs. Uh, it's good as compared to the uh, unipolar because the current uh, precisely flows between its two prongs and less damage is there. Now it will be plugged uh, into the, these two holes. It has two leads. So in the cartridge machine you will uh, push it like this. 
now you are seeing on the screen it's a unipolar cautery uh, it has got two buttons one is for coagulation and other is for the cutting purpose uh, cutting purpose you will uh, use near the skin while coagulation purpose you will uh, use in the deeper tissues you will put here into the machine where three uh, ports are there three holes are there and especially you must uh, use the foot plate in case of the unipolar otherwise uh, damage might might now uh, this is the skin stapler uh, to close the skin uh, while uh, when you are not uh, using sutures so these numbers indicate number of sutures basically they are steel sutures and you have to put this arrow in the middle of your incision and then after that after approximation you will press this area uh, to suture this is the burette it is also known as the pediatric chamber it has a capacity of at least 100 ml uh, the upper end you are seeing on the screen it's used for filling it which is my in uh, the other end it's attached to the cannula it's used to administer medication now you are seeing the three way on the screen in the close up view uh, basically it's a three way connector and uh, you use uh, with uh, cannula when you want to administer more than one drugs to the patient now finally uh, you are seeing the nasal oxygen cannula to administer oxygen it has got uh, one end to connect with the oxygen source other ends it's the nasal prongs uh, you will put in the nostrils of the patient especially pediatric uh, age group this is the swab stick which is used to take the sample for the culture and the sensitivity so in the close of view you are viewing it you have to dip in the secretion now you are seeing the drainage bag on your screen it's also as a urinary bag to attached with the foley's catheter or you will attach it with the ng to drain and to collect the secretions now you are seeing the cvp line uh, it's used for fluid resuscitation vasopressor therapy extensive third spirit losses oleic urea and urea in case uh, it has got uh, many parts uh, first is the antiseptic and this is the manual you will study later now uh, we are picking the guide wire uh, which is used in the cvp this is the guide wire you can check it then after that uh, we will pick the dilator now uh, in my hand this is the dilator you can view in the close up view okay after that uh, we will pick up the syringe it's a 5 ml syringe and uh, it has also got a needle you are in the seeing the close up view uh, this is basically cvp line in fact uh, which is in my hand now in the close up view and finally this is the syringe connector and uh, this is the blade to uh, give the very small incision so finally uh, 